still no signs of Tripoli in Massachusetts or, or excuse me, in Rhode Island. The DEM says all 121 mosquito samples from traps set on July 29th in Rhode Island have tested negative for that virus and also West Nile. But it's a different story in Massachusetts where more than 20 communities are at high risk for Tripoli. Most of them in Bristol County and Plymouth County. And as Iowa News reporter Tori Goshi explained, cities and towns in the state have now gone on the offensive to prevent the spread of the virus and other mosquito-borne illnesses. It's new at 530. For the first time since 2012, planes are flying across southeastern Massachusetts, spraying a pesticide to de-escalate the concerns of Tripoli and mosquitoes. Spraying isn't as uncommon as you may think. The state of Massachusetts conducted aerial applications during 2006, 2010, and 2012. That is according to state epidemiologist Dr. Katherine Brown. What really triggers the consideration of an aerial intervention um, is that we have multiple communities that are considered to be at high risk for a human case. Accounting for 22 communities across Bristol and Plymouth counties, those spraying will only occur in 14 of those communities. Health officials say it only takes a teaspoon of the pesticide to treat an area the size of a football field. What we're trying to do is interrupt the escalation cycle with the disease. We're never going to get every mosquito, but we're going to get enough of the mosquitoes so that it interrupts that breeding cycle. Health officials echo the pesticide will not harm you or I, just the mosquitoes. Triple E was first detected this week in New Bedford. Areas targeted for spraying include public parks and locations that host large public events. Got to protect the kids, got to protect everybody. It's dangerous, it's scary. Despite the ground and aerial spraying, you need to apply bug spray when heading out at dawn or dusk. Ground spraying will continue throughout the weekend in New Bedford. To find out more on where they're spraying, head on over to WPRI.com or to the WPRI 12 app. I'm Tori Goshi, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tori. Coming up next on Eyewitness News.